What's up YouTube? It's your girl Carlisa Victoria back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I am actually going to be showing you guys, I just got freshly out of the shower, um, my face wash routine um, on a typical night. It's the weekend. You cannot forget about your self-care on the weekend. You cannot forget about your skincare. You cannot forget about any of that. If you shall forget, yes, shall, if you forget during the week, okay, I'll give you a break. I'll give you one pass, but there's no excuse as to why you don't do your skincare self-care on the weekend. That's when you have time to do things. So as you guys can see, I'm real transparent about like what I'm going through as far as skin. You guys see the hyperpigmentation slash breakout on my face. Well, the good thing is, even though it looks kind of probably bad to y'all, it looks better to me. Um, my face, I did notice that some hyperpigmentation has mild down. Um, cystic acne, y'all, I talk about it all the time, is real. And that's why I'm going to be taking some time to, well, this is supposed to be like a nighttime routine slash get unready with me. So I'm not going to just be talking and not doing. So I'm going to start off with, um, since I just got out of the shower, like I said, my hands are clean. I just literally got out. So I'm going to wet my face. I just take some water and wet it. I'm big on filtered water too. So sometimes I'll put filtered water like in a bottle or something and then I'll you know, cleanse my face. But right now, I think the key to a good face wash is literally, literally moisture. So I'm gonna actually go in with, give me a second, y'all. I'm gonna go in with my rose water. I was gonna do the witch hazel water, but I'm gonna do my rose water just simply because um, I try to stick to the rose water when I'm doing my, um, my um, witch hazel wash. But tonight I'm gonna be doing my vitamin C face wash, but let me spray this cause this, it comes out so heavy. And then I like just fan my eyes to make sure it doesn't get in my eyes, but it's just rose water. So I like to have my face all moist. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the face wash. I'm gonna be trying out my new face wash brush. So that's why I'm also, Kind of excited as well because I haven't tried that out yet. Come on, camera. My camera is always trying to show out when it's time to be in use. Like, bro, y'all. I, I tell you, this, it's because I need my stand. I don't know where my camera stand is. It's like sliding. I think it's gonna. It's gonna fall. Maybe I can move it down. Can y'all see me better this way? I'm just going to move it down that way. We don't have all these problems. Um, my candles are already lit. I know y'all always see me do my candles. But they're already lit. Um, smells so good. But anyway, let me re-moisturize my face a little bit because my face is starting to dry out. Like I said, I think the key to a good um, face wash for me is literally moisture. So my face is wet. I'm going to add some of the face wash the vitamin c face wash i'm not gonna do my witch hazel um tonight because your girl is basically wanting to use that brush in the witch when i do the witch hazel it's like nothing to really exfoliate so i'm gonna exfoliate with this i gotta be careful because you get products in your eyes it's not a pretty sight not a pretty feeling so i'm just going to Camera's about to die, but anyway, I think we'll get through this. So I'm just gonna spread this through. But anyway, let's talk about weight. Let's just talk about updates in my life and everything like that. So pretty much I weighed in at 156.8 this morning. I keep fluctuating with that weight. Um, I told you guys I just went off of my cycle and on my cycle, you know, I ended up having like two to three pounds of bloat. So once I, you know, actually got off, I went back to the 156.8. So it was nice to see that I'm starting to weigh in at 156.8 and I'm maintaining it, but your girl still needs to go down and wait. So we're gonna have to, you know, shift the focus. But let me rinse this a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna have to definitely shift the focus. Um, 
So I'm not exactly sure what I'm weighing in tomorrow at. I guess we'll check back in. Um, today is the 21st of August. And remember, y'all, I was supposed to be... Um, this is not the head I want to use. I think I want to use the other one. My eyes are low-key starting to burn. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to use this. I mean, that one is kind of good for exfoliating. But I already feel it. So I kind of want to use the soft bristles. So I'm going to wet this. I think wetting your bristles also will help. Um, and I'm going to put product on the bristles. I think between wetting it and putting product on here, it will help for it to foam up more. And your girl is trying to get a good face wash. And I'm going to put it on the highest setting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so this brush is definitely controlling me instead of the other way around. You know how I like... Okay, okay, okay. It's like the bristles are so fast, but there's only two settings. This one's... Okay. But anyway, yeah, I weighed in at 156.8. And I'm going to... Um, be trying to still get to the 149 mark by September 1st. Right now it is the 21st of August, so your girl practically has like nine days to make an impression on herself. I'm just trying to do everything naturally and organically, so if I um, get to the goal, awesome. If not, remember my weight loss is supposed to be slow progress, not a rush. And I always say slow progress is better than no progress. So at the end of the month, the first goal is to at least weigh in at um, 155. And then the second goal is to weigh in at 149. So if I can be at 155 by September 1st, I will be hitting my initial goal. And if I can end up at 149, that would be my secondary goal, which would be amazing. But yeah, so I'm probably going to make for lunch tomorrow a vegan boil so I can use up my um, vegan sausage. And then I'll probably have like, you know, like raw vegetables and fruit tomorrow um, going forward. I'm definitely going to make me some probably homemade coffee as well for my bowel movements and also for energy alert because I have work to do tomorrow. Like I have mega work. And I told you guys my grad school classes are about to start back up this upcoming week. So your girl has to get with it because it's about to be a lot of work I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do business. I'm going to have to... You know, um, obviously still come and make videos for y'all. And then I'm also going to be studying for some tests that I want to take that I'll reveal later. Um, and then also your girl has to actually do her schoolwork. So it's going to be a lot. But let me rinse this off my face. Exfoliate just a little bit more. But yeah, so it's going to be a lot of work. But, you know. That's what it takes if you want to be successful. It's going to take work. So I'm up for the challenge. I have to write my goals out again. You guys know I'm always like writing goals out, but sorry. Um, it's simply because your goals should be changing. Like if your goals are not changing, then you got to ask yourself, are you working really hard because... Um, your goals should be changing. Mean your long-term goals take longer to get to, but short-term goals should be like rotating out if you're really on your goals. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dry my entire face like all the way. I'm just gonna pat dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna let the rest air dry. It's something about like I'd be liking my hair to air dry, I like my face to air dry, and then after this I'm gonna go in and I'm going to seal in moisture with either my oil. Um, I'm not going to do like a lotion. So yeah, it'll be an oil. So I guess I'll sit here and think about which oil. But um, yeah, like in order to get those results, you're going to have to work hard. So for me, I um literally have to write those new goals out. So that's why I'm always constantly writing goals out because I'm constantly checking them off. Um, But weight is definitely one of those things. So right now, with me being 156.8, I'm practically like 27 pounds or so away from actually weighing in at 129, which is my first goal to the 120s. Then um, once I get 129, I'm going to see if I want to go down some more or if I want to stay there. But I'm 27 pounds away. You guys know I focus on weight loss in increments, so I'm not thinking immediately on the other side of 27 pounds, I'm thinking more so on the side of 
let me lose these seven pounds so I can hit 149 and then I'll be 20 pounds away. So that's how I'm really, really working my weight loss. Um, I just feel like with healthy lifestyle, healthy, um, my sleeping has still been off. And I think that's just because I, like I told you guys, I have been up working on a lot of stuff. And then when I have coffee too late, like I should never have drank that coffee while I was in the tub. But I drank it because I bought it today and I didn't want it to not be that good tomorrow. And then also, um, I know I'm going to be awake, but like I told you, coffee is a good um, bowel movement for me. It's good and then the energy, but it's a good detox. I have this, which I think my canister, this one I think is like 32 fluid ounces. I can't remember. It's 24 or 32, but I think it's... I think with the width it's like 20 it's like 32 but anyway I have this water and I have this water this one's detoxed um, but I only have lemon in it I normally put mint lemon and um, what else mint lemon and cucumber but I didn't do that for this one it's just lemon in here um, and then this one's just regular water because they're in these jugs I don't like to um, Put the mint and stuff in here because I need to be able to see what I'm drinking if I'm drinking my water and mint go down my throat I'm going to scream so the texture I just can't so I have to see it so I'll put it in a mason jar a clear mason jar so I can see all of that and then I can just you know drink accordingly so throughout the night I'll be pouring into a mason jar um, but this is just my water and I will be having my detox water I told y'all before in multiple videos Detox water for me at night before I go to bed is amazing for my digestion in the morning. So I'm going to actually get me, after I get off this video, I'm going to get a mason jar, um, cut up some cucumber, put some mint leaves, and put some lemon into a uh, jar. And I'm going to be just pouring my waters in there throughout the night. I'll be working on a lot of stuff, so I'm going to put these waters beside me. Um, as I'm working on stuff and I'll just continue to sip. So tonight I'm trying to see if there are any oils I'm supposed to be trying out for y'all. Let's see. No, I did my face mist. Um, no, there's no other ones I'm supposed to be trying. So I'm just going to open this. This is the, the Versed Daily Dissolve Cleansing Balm with Eucalyptus Oil and Vitamin E Oil. Remember I told y'all when I got this from Target in North Carolina, initially I thought it was like lip balm. So I put it on my lips thinking that it was like an exfoliant and really it's just for your face. So I'm going to put some of this on my face and y'all saw how, the, how thick that texture was. Like, look, let me do it again. And then when you rub it in, it's an oil. So I'm going to put this on my face and I'm going to put this on my neck. And if you guys don't watch my other videos, I tell you guys I switch up my oils and my face mist and my face wash throughout the week just because I don't like to stay to the same routine because I definitely feel like your skin and your body can get immune to using the same things and not work so I use the same products but I use them on rotation um and I have a good rotation of oils a good rotation of like um waters like mist and then a good rotation of different face washes I think I'm gonna do a mask this week so I'm either gonna do a turmeric mask, a uh, Indian clay mask, or I'll do like a, you know, just like a rose gold mask with all the good, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely trying to start getting rid of some products. So I'm going to just look at what's empty or close to empty. And that's probably what I'm going to start working into my routine for the rest of the month, just so I can get rid of. Um, I got this like rose gold mask. It's like a that my sister got me a long time ago from Ulta and I still use it and I'm gonna be using that until I'm done with it this oil a little bit goes a long way I know I look pretty oily but your girl needs it um and again I keep telling y'all I'm gonna go get my jade roller and what happened still don't have my jade roller it's like somewhere I haven't found it but I'm going to find it and I kept thinking I kept passing by jade rollers in the store and I'm like should I just buy a new one then I'm like no because I know I have mine so the goal is to find that jade roller this week but I like to roll the oil massage my face um, but I'm definitely gonna be having to um, I'm gonna put some on my skin too I mean it is oil but um, 
I'm gonna definitely have to um, um, be up in my water game and really focusing on what I'm putting in my body because again you guys that digestion you want that detox but I also want healthy glowy skin and I feel like I'm just in a phase where there's a combination of cystic acne there's a combination of toxins trying to come out of my skin um, and I'm just gonna have to keep washing my face moisturizing my face keeping a healthy regimen um, and then of course drinking my water which I drink you know a lot of water but and that's how I know it's like cystic acne from what I'm eating and toxins trying to come out because I drink a lot of water. So I know I'm not breaking out because of like, oh, you don't drink enough water. I do. I'm behind on my water today, but I do drink a lot of water. So yeah, I'll be drinking, sipping this water throughout the night. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead so I can get to work. I'm supposed to be cleaning up tonight, y'all, but I'm not up to it. I just want to read right now. I just want to work on some business. And I don't know, maybe I'll wake up super early in the morning. Well, I'm not going to say super early because I already told y'all that I drank that coffee late. And chances are I'm not going to sleep until wee hours of the morning. Um, no telling when this video is going to even get posted. It's probably going to get posted after like 1 a.m. But um, yeah, I'm going to get some work done. And... I wanted to at least like clean something like for the night like clean the bathroom or clean the kitchen or you know do something but I think what I'm gonna do is get work done tonight and just be prepared to just do a good cleanup tomorrow do some laundry I might do some laundry tonight because I'm gonna be up but just be prepped so this video has gone super long but that's my full nighttime routine as far as weight Keep on clicking on my videos, checking in. If you're new to the channel, thank you. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because your girl's going to be back with bangers. I keep putting videos out there. I know you guys are liking that. Um, I'm trying to be consistent because I know you guys consistently come to my channel. And some people, like, I get comments basically saying, I couldn't wait for you to post a video. And I'm just like, there's people out there in the world waiting for me to post a video? How sweet. That is so cute. But, um... I'm just trying to stick to, you know, the goal, the plan. Um, yeah, I'm not going to brush my teeth and floss tonight or right now. I am going to do that tonight. I'm not going to do it right now because I still have to drink water. And I don't want the toothpaste taste of water in my water. If y'all, if you drink water and you actually brush your teeth, then you know what I'm talking about. You don't want that taste when you're drinking your water. So I'm going to go make my detox water. Um... And y'all just give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, baby girl. Go take your shower. I took a bath before I took a shower because your girl needed to soak. I did an ACV soak. So if y'all don't do apple cider vinegar soaks, then I will encourage you to do ACV soaks. I got to write out my to-do list because there's some things that I need. Like I ran out of, um, uh, last night I used the last of my, um, if I can get the word out, um, Pop the Bubbly by Queen V, which is a gentle bubble bath for sensitive skin. I ran out of that after last night because I used it, but yeah, I'll be back with more videos. Make sure you guys thumbs up. See you later. It's only 11, so